Ever since their daughter, granddaughter, and family friend disappeared right after Valentine's Day, Francis and Carol Carrington have learned to wait. They're beautiful girls that were just on the verge of growing up. Days stretched into weeks. The families kept a hopeful vigil. Sabina's parents flew in from Argentina. By the middle of March, the worst possible news. The bodies of Carol and Sylvina were found in the trunk of their burned out rental car, dumped near Sonora. She wouldn't hurt anything or anybody, not even with words. Investigators found Julie's body a week later near Lake Don Pedro. The Carringtons tried to fill the hole in their hearts, starting their own reward fund to help other families. And they quietly waited for a break in the case. Yes, yes, it brings some closure, no question about it. A representative of the Carrington Reward Fund actually contacted the family of Joey Armstrong after learning of her disappearance and murder. The Carringtons wanted to help, never realizing their losses would lead to the same suspect. We've been through it a lot longer than they have, and maybe we can offer them some support. We'll sure try. With a motel yeah. maintenance worker now the prime I'd suspect, like the Carringtons know the waiting isn't quite over. We. Uh, uh, hope this is brought to a just end. Uh, this is all that we can ask for. Sharon Ito, News 10.